Welcome to our monthly Forge newsletter. This month, we introduce the rolling process simulated with Forge. We propose a trilogy on this topic in order to cover the main features of this forming process. The first chapter, this month, provides an overview of the simulation of the rolling process. It starts with the continuous casting process to follow with the rolling. We will see how the results are carried over from our Thurcast software used for continuous casting to Forge used for the rolling deformation process. With its two software Transvalor provides a fully integrated solution for the steel making industry. As said in the introduction, we start this trilogy by the continuous casting to rolling chapter. The next newsletter will be dedicated to the analysis of the main defects in rolling. And we will finish the trilogy with a case study, which will be comparing two pass roll designs and making the choice based on the simulation results. Here is an overview of the steel making process from raw material to semi-finished or finished product. The red circle shows the process covered by Transvalor solutions, starting from the ton dish to finish with the product ready to ship to the customer. We present here the sections of the process related to each software. Thurcast takes care of the continuous casting, and the results are carried over to Forge for the rolling mill simulation. In the near future, projects are still going on at Transvalor and its industrial partners, Thurcast will offer the possibility to simulate remelting processes as well. With this development, Transvalor will provide a full understanding of the steel making process, taking into consideration the possible defects from beginning to finish. This is very critical to control the quality of the products supplied to the customers. Let's now talk about the casting, and more particularly about the primary cooling. The primary cooling is the segment of the continuous casting taking place into the mold. Thurcast simulates the cooling of the metal within the mold, taking into consideration the design of molds such as taper and curvature, as well as the cooling system such as water boxes, to cool off the copper mold. The simulation shows the evolution of temperature, taking into consideration the air gap created during the cooling due to the shrinkage of the metal. The engineer can test several designs easily to optimize the taper in order to compensate for the air gap for instance. The liquid fraction is a critical result to follow the shell thickness, which can be measured as well and plotted along with the casting length. It is critical to assess the shell thickness at the bottom of the mold and make sure that the thickness is large enough to avoid a breakout which would be dramatic on the shop floor. The secondary cooling is the segment of the continuous casting that controls the cooling speed of the metal which account for the final quality of the product. Thurcast takes into consideration every nozzles and rolls designed in the caster. Of course, the engineer can test different designs and make his or her final decision based on the simulation results. In order to speed up the simulation, the result of the primary cooling is sliced into a smaller section, and we use an option of Thurcast to run the simulation on this section only. This technique gives accurate results in a small amount of time. Even though a full simulation with the extension of the mesh is available, the increase of the number of nodes or elements makes it challenging to get the results in time, especially with the fully coupled thermomechanical computation. The typical results for the secondary cooling are the liquid fraction to evaluate where the metal becomes 100% solid, the porosities in the product that can be assessed through two criteria. The Noyama criterion is a pure thermal criterion and it gives an assessment of the microporosities. The Yamanaka criterion is a hot terrain criterion as well as microporosities. Yamanaka is a thermomechanical criterion. Thurcast has a fully coupled thermomechanical solver, which makes the use of this criterion feasible. The simulation results presented are using the full thermomechanical option. Faster simulations can be done using a pure thermal option, as first approximation.
Once the casting has been simulated, Forge carried the results from Thurcast over for the rolling mill simulation. We present here some basic results useful for the analysis of the rolling process. The strain gives an important information about the amount of deformation given at each pass. The results can be visualized inside the product using a cross-section in the post-processor. The porosity's evolution is assessed through either the Nayama criterion or the Yamanaka criterion. In this example, we present the Yamanaka criterion. Forge takes the results from Thurcast and assigned one at the locations where porosities or hot tearing have been detected and zero where there is none. The user can then look at the evolution of the porosities pass after pass to see if the passes got rid of the porosities and after how many passes. That is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this newsletter. Please feel free to contact us if you have any question or comment. You can contact Nicholas Poulain at nicholas.poulain at transvaloramericas.com The next newsletter, in June, will present the second chapter of the Rolling Trilogy. The second chapter will show how to detect some common defects in pass roll design. Thank you for joining the community of our newsletter readers, and we will see you next month for some other exciting videos. Have a nice day.